Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Just gonna give everybody a little bit of intel today from the local feed and seed store for preparing for this year's planting season. So this is a message to gardeners, homesteaders, anybody that likes to try to grow their own food. So let's talk about what I found out at the feed store this week. I'm up here in the potato bed from last year. You can see got plenty of manure and plenty of organic matter to add to the soil this year but anyhow the intel from the feed store and the purpose of this video is to let everybody know that more than likely there's going to be a seed potato shortage this year so I talked to the owner of the feed store and they're gonna get he's thinking a third to a half of what they had last year for seed potatoes Kennebex, uh, Pontiac Red, Yukon Gold all of them are going to be in short supply, I guess, from the whatever went on with the potato shortage out west this year or whatever went on with that. But anyhow, just just forewarning folks that are thinking about planting potatoes this year to go ahead and, if you can, from your local feed and seed store, order the seed or reserve it, whatever you need to do, prepay. Um, my feed store that I source my seed potatoes from does not take prepay, but he's got my phone number and told me to come in the first week of February. He'd try to call me, but if not, just come in the first week of February and buy what I need before everybody gets on it because that's when he's expecting his shipment. So, yeah, first week of February, I'm gonna be calling him or ride by on the way in or whatever and get plenty of seed potatoes for this year. I'm gonna do Kennebec and Yukon Gold. Did Kennebec last year and got 125 pounds off the Kennebecs and got about 40 pounds of Pontiac Reds but that's not near enough to supply our needs here on the homestead. The average American, I think, eats like 115 or 120 pounds of potatoes. Well, we burnt through that in two months. So I'm trying, my goal for this year is to grow 500 pounds. Y'all may be thinking, that's a lot of taters. Well, yeah, that's a lot of taters. Strong Irish blood, I guess. I don't know. We, we need at least 500 pounds to get us through a year. And a little extra to have our own seed potatoes in case you can't get any commercial ones. I had some set aside, but we ended up eating them. So kind of done that to myself, but that's all right. I was hoping we'd get some from the store, which, you know, they're still in supply, but I need to have enough reserve for in case of rough times get rougher. I can have my own seed potatoes, but the ones I buy from the feed store are certified disease free, all that good stuff. I didn't have any disease on them last year, so I could save my own. But anyhow, let's get on to another another point. What I'm doing to add to the to the potatoes. So I've got a retaining wall built, and all this is nice soft dirt. And you can see I'm going organic this year. You sell the manure, hay, and everything. So this dirt needs a little more airiness and volume to it. So all this is going to get tilled in as soon as it dries up. I like to till usually in December, so all this can break down. But it's been so wet. I hadn't tilled it in, so I'm waiting for it to drop a little bit so it doesn't break the soil structure up too bad. You know, tilling's not not the best thing all the times. There's different thoughts on that, whether you want to go no-till or if you want to till. But, you know, for taters and stuff, yeah, I, I like to till it and keep it nice and soft. But anyhow, I'm adding on, adding on some more logs and retaining wall. Gonna fill all this in with dirt out, soil out of the woods and add in rabbit manure. Cause I'm getting a wheelbarrow full of rabbit manure every two to three days. So plenty of organic manure. So we're trying to do all organic this year, which leads me to point number two. Fertilizer stuff, synthetic fertilizers are still in short supply. So if you're gonna do synthetic fertilizers for this coming gardening season 2023, you might wanna go ahead and buy it now before the price goes up more. Cause that's my other point of intel that the price on the fertilizers are going up even more as soon as gardening season starts and right now a 50 pound sack of triple 10 is 23 dollars so yeah it's going up quite a bit point number three i think we're on number three yeah point number three also intel from the feed store that corn seed is probably going to be doubling price this year compared to last year i haven't got this year's shipment in but well there's a big corn shortage and stuff going on too so yeah i don't eat a lot of corn I'm not going to waste my time growing it this year. It takes up a lot of space, and uh, you know, for what it produces, I can do better with with potatoes or 
sunflowers or stuff like that to feed the animals and that's the main thing with the corn was to feed the chickens but i might be able to glean another field out this fall so you know that's not going to make or break me and then point number four part of the i guess part of point number three the corn shortage um scratch grain i had to wait three weeks to get my seven way scratch grain that i normally get so if you got room to stock up on some extra scratch grain for your chickens you might want to consider that as well and point i think we're on point number five now um if you've watched some of my videos you know we're getting into the bees this year beekeeping so i'm gonna have to change my pesticide regimen for the garden so i beta tested some of this organicide last summer i got this as a uh, partial bottle from a friend to try out works pretty good surprised me it's basically sesame oil and fish oil and stuff like that and this is be safe uh, this is an older bottle the new bottles have a picture of a bee and stuff on it but i'll put a link in the description for this it worked real good on the aphids and it worked pretty good on the white flies so it surprised me how how well it worked and also we're doing bunch bunches and bunches of integrated pest management stuff this year different than i did last year so i learned gardening from my grandpa when i was a little kid you know, he was old school throw the fertilizer to it, throw the pesticide to it, which that's how all the old timers were. Uh, you know, the younger generation, I don't know if it's just the way the world's changed or the farming practices we've learned over the years, but everybody's wanting to be more organic and I can see the benefits of organic and I can see the benefits of synthetic. But with the price of synthetic stuff going up and synthetic pesticides harm the bees and all that, you know, I can see the benefits of organic. So. I'm going to try my best to be completely organic this year. No synthetics on the fertilizer, no synthetics on the pesticide if I can help it. But there are some copper-based pesticides that are safer for bees. I have some copper-based pesticides and stuff, but you know, so this is not this is just a just to get you thinking about your gardening and stuff and planning for this year. Uh, it takes a while to get to the organic side. You got to have some some source of organic fertilizers. Uh, you know, and organic pesticides i guess you could mix some up on your own so you know just just food for thought literally uh just best way just start getting ready for this year's gardening season if you're into it and if you've never gardened before i'm gonna be showing some uh some different gardening methods space saving gardening methods since i need all the space saving measures i can get because of the terrain i have to tear stuff out or either grow in containers so i have some cool stuff i think y'all like coming up this gardening season I said this video was mainly just to get everybody, if you need stuff, go ahead and get it now, um, which is, you know, the rule of thumb for most stuff that, that, that we do in the preparedness community and whatnot. But I think that's about it for the day. Uh, if, if you don't mind, please hit that like button. Uh, questions or give me some intel. If you got intel from your area, you know, if you've got a shortage of anything or if you've got a surplus or a bounty of stuff, let me know about that too. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate a subscription. And one more tidbit, don't buy your seed potatoes online. Please support your local mom and pop feed stores. A, you're supporting a small business. And B, uh, last year's seed potatoes uh, at my local store that I'm buying from again this year were 45 cents a pound. So try to beat that online. I doubt you can. Thanks for watching Off Grid Mountain Homestead. See y'all later.